I'm going to actually stress out two factors right now where we oftentimes get to like contradict ourselves trying to understand what it is about. I'm going to read this directly from Google so that we all could probably have a better understanding so it doesn't look like it's my definition. Um, I'm going to start with want. Google has it that want can be defined like for you want to have a desire to possess or do something or wish for. While need can also be defined as when something is required because it's essential and it's very important rather than just desirable. Now the other factor is option. It's been defined as a thing or maybe chosen, available, is being defined as able to use or obtain at someone's disposal. Now, why do we oftentimes contradict ourselves? What do you believe in? You know you could be believing in want, but then your need ain't conceived by you. Why do you want to conceive want, then discard need? What is it that you want? And what is it that you need? You know, we oftentimes going to make a whole lot of mistakes, which is the reason why a lot of people had gone astray. To me, I'll put it this way, like want is a commodity, and need is a necessity. And the question is, why have you always made yourself so available for people? Why have you made yourself an option for people? You want respect for yourself? Stop being available for them. You want them to regard you? Stop being an option. When you become available for them, they're going to lose respect for you. When you become an option for them, they're going to use you. Because you know why? When you become an option for me, I will use you for the purpose I gain faith. I will use you for a purpose that satisfies me. I will use you for a purpose that makes me feel cool. You could be my errand boy or my errand girl. Stop doing that. If you need respect from people around you, Stop being an option. Stop being available for them. Understand what you need and what you want. If we do not understand these things, we'll be getting our ass in a whole lot of shape. For how long do you keep making yourself an option to people? For how long do you keep being available for them? Because then you define you being available for them like you are a true friend. Do they actually see you like a true friend? When you make yourself so much available for them, do they respect that? When you place yourself as an option before people, do they regret that? Now, let me put it this way. You can't be living close to Wiz Khalifa. You come out of your balcony every morning. He's the first person you see. Trust me, if he's got a show for even five cents as a ticket fee, you yourself, you ain't going to pay. Do you know why you're not going to pay? You're not going to pay because every time you come out of your balcony, you see that same man. Why would you still want to go pay that money to still watch him when you literally get to see him every time of your life? Why do you think they hide themselves? Why do you think they don't bring themselves to the public? Because the only way they earn and the only way they get respect is when they keep themselves far away from you. So that whenever you see them, you will appreciate them. Don't get me wrong. There are people in life who are going to respect you for being available for them. There are still people in life who are going to regard you for being an option for them. Because they really understand what it is for you to come true for another. 
But then how do you look at these people? How do you actually find out those people who really do not take an advantage of you for being an option or for being available for them? Now that is where your need and your want comes true. What is it that you want? What is it that you need? Do we need clothes that bad? Do we need food that bad? Do we need cigarette that bad? Food is a necessity. Alcohol is a one. Because you can do without it. But can you do without feeding? Ask yourself that question. Start projecting your life in an area where you feel like you might have failed. Look into these places where you had actually contradicted your need for your one and then your one for your need. I'm going to put this across to you guys for you guys to understand some. Like I keep telling people, it's not like people do not understand what a diamond is. But a lot of people can keep a diamond not because they don't know its worth, but because they don't know how to make it blossom. They don't know how to maintain it. They don't know how to reserve it. So for that reason, a lot of people would not want something that's going to bring them stress. They're going to let the diamond go so that they can have the stone. Do you know why they have the stone? Because they don't stress to maintain the stone. It has no value. It has no worth. You can pick one right now and you can drop on the next spot. So in life, a lot of people will not see your greatness. A lot of people will not see the best in you. Because you know why? They cannot maintain the same energy as you. You need to start understanding the basis of life. For oftentimes the problem we go through, we are the architect of that. For God has given us the grace... He has given us the power and dominion over a lot of things. Everything, perhaps. Then why do you still find yourself in that shit? For the only way you cannot receive is when you have not asked. And how do you ask for you to receive? For we all ask every day of our lives. But then the question is, do we actually receive whenever we ask there's always a moment for truth for everyone sit and talk to yourself we all have failed there is no man created in this world that hadn't failed we all failed we might have failed in different reasons we might have failed in different categories of our lives but then what do we do there always be that time, that moment of truth, where we have to pick the pieces of our lives back together, where we have to say enough is enough, where we have to call a spade a spade, where we have to say this is what I need and this is what I want, when you have to tell people I refuse to be an option, when you have to tell people I refuse to be available for you. For young Emmy said, I know the difference between love and use. How many people out there know when they are being used and when they are truly being loved? That's because they don't know their needs from their want. For whenever you know what you need and what you want, you're definitely going to appreciate people who appreciate you. If you don't appreciate people, you will never know what it feels like to be appreciated. If you don't give to people, you will never understand what it means for you to be a giver. I had a lot of friends who keep calling me every day and keep nagging and complaining. They keep telling me shit like this. They keep telling me, Andy, I've got no job. I've got nothing to do. I can't even do anything right now to earn a living. Yes, that's okay. You're not the only one going through that problem. That is one problem that a lot of people suffer out there in the world. But then... <laughs> A wise man says so. A wise man said the only way to start is by starting. The first job you need to give to yourself, like you've been employed, is what runs through year and through year. I could remember Steve Harvey said some. He said for the first time he went out to that comedy show, 
he made five dollars he had to go to his office the next day when he got to a job at his workplace he had to quit he had to quit not because he's got fifty dollars not because fifty dollars could make his life better but he mentioned something he said that is the moment he discovered what runs through him that's the moment he discovered there's a lot in here and in here for me to become a slave to someone do you know what robert kiyosaki has in his content in that book rich that and poor dad as long as you are working under someone you are a slave you gotta wake up your ass every 5 a.m. You don't give a damn care if it's raining, whatever the situation of the weather is that morning. You gotta report to us at your office. Because you know why? You are a slave. For if you do not do that, you'll be fired. For how long do you wanna keep enslaving yourself? For how long do you wanna keep enslaving yourself in that friendship? For how long do you keep enslaving yourself being around the first energies? For how long do you keep enslaving yourself being in that marriage? Let's not forget marriage is a title. For there are a lot of people who are in need and yet they ever regretted being in need. For how long do you want your boss to push you around? You talk about greatness all the time. Everybody wakes up in the morning. Everybody said, today is a brand new day. Today I'm going to make it be. Today I wish God to bless me with all the stuff and what my heart desires, right? It is okay. But sometimes those blessings can come to you because nature knows that when they come to you, it's like an embarrassment to you. It's going to give you a shock of your life that can even cause you trauma. How often do you prepare for these opportunities? You do not have a job does not mean you should let yourself out. At every time in life, you should be ready for opportunities. For Dr. B. Newman has it, that opportunity don't go to those who wait. It goes to those who dare to attack. Just like the Bible will have it too, that the kingdom of the Lord suffered violence, and by violence we take care of it by force. Get up your ass. Say something to yourself. You have failed does not make you a failure. You have tried so many times does not make you feel like there's no best in you. You have hurt a lot of people knowingly and unknowingly does not mean you should condemn yourself. For why do we have life? For each day the Lord makes you see that morning dawn, it means there's a purpose you still represent. Steve Harvey said some. That even if you're at your 60 or your 70 and you're still living, it means there's a purpose for you. If there was no purpose, why would Donald Trump want to be a president after the age of 70? What makes you feel like your age can run you out of an opportunity? As long as you live, as long as you breathe, Opportunity should be your target. For if you need greatness, you need to know how to identify the opportunity and grab it. One of the problems we have is if you cannot identify a true friend, let me put it that way, you cannot keep them. That's exactly what I'm saying about the diamond. If you do not understand the word from the inside, you can maintain it. If you do not understand what an opportunity is, you can see it. You cannot discover it. Even when it sits before your face, you will not know that your opportunity are just before you. Explore your mindset. Explore your brains. To conceive is part of you believing. But what happened to you? Propagating. For do you want to conceive and believe stuff that you can put into play? I failed myself long time. I didn't discover what I got inside of me. Because if I had known what I had inside of me long time, I would be far from where I am right now. But I cut my ass off. I got to force myself to let it out. Then I let it out. Then I discovered it was so easy to do it. Let me tell you something the most easiest thing you can ever get done in this life are the things that run through you. Because when you discover them, 
you ain't gonna stress for they are in you they are what makes you and they are those things that are going to take you to where you want to be so start understanding something right now henceforth understand what your wants is understand what your needs could be understand the fact that you cannot be available for everybody and understand the fact that you cease to be an option and do not forget one thing learn to see your opportunities when they come because that's the only way you are going to grab any opportunity that comes before you this is your homeboy green